Hi, I'm John, and I'm studying bioinformatics at the University of Hoofda. It is cold today, but it is, it's very nice. I mean, there's not a cloud in the sky, right? You can take a shot of the sky. I come from Great Britain, and I've been living here for two years now. This is the library. You do work in here sometimes. I really like that it's very local. It's very easy to get to. Everything within in Hoofda is bikeable. Um, I also like that the university feels very open, and there's always people working in the corridors. Your teachers are really accessible. Over there is the canteen, which you can get teas and coffees, and also this A building, um, and that's where you take your exams and sometimes have some computational labs. Bioinformatics is interesting because it can be applied to so many different fields. Uh, the details of programming and how that can apply to different biological information and inputs, but that can really be applied to anything from stem cells to artificial organ design to disease modeling. We've got lots of labs. And here we have Zemina. Hey. Who's looking at some networks for systems biology. So yeah, at the University of Hoofda there's loads of research projects, uh, especially in bioinformatics. It's been invested in heavily. Um, for example, I know some projects where they're building synthetic hearts and they're testing uh, the results from different cancer drugs. Um, and then analysing all that data is a big part of the bioinformatic process. We also have sequencing devices. This is the world's smallest. Um, and it's fantastic because we can sequence huge chunks of genomic data um, just using this tiny little thing here. Um, so it's good that at the University of Hoofda you're working with something that's new and it's going to be emerging as time goes on. Um, relevant research, relevant information for the future. Uh, the University of Hoofda has a lot of international students. Walking down the corridor you hear a bunch of different languages and English all the time. It's spoken amongst Swedes but also amongst international students. So I'd say it feels really international to be here. You can usually find someone from your home country. Yeah.